Grabe guys, Busan hits differently. Look at that. Grabe guys, hindi ako na-inform na yung ano pala dito, yung fast food, literal na fast. It's really refreshing to see people outside, right? It's going back to normal, you guys. My time, no, I don't wanna waste my Welcome to the third day here in South Korea. So we are off to Busan and it's my first time actually to experience KTX. So I'll be bringing you guys with me as I experience that. But beforehand, I'd like to show you a heat check you never ask. <laughs> Okay guys, so pabalik na ako ngayon sa hotel ko kasi mag-check out ako ng 12. It's just 10 a.m. And punta na ako ng ano, Seoul Station kasi ayoko mali. I'm actually heading towards a different route going to my hotel which is supposed to be on that way. Kasi gusto ko makita yung different alleys before I go kasi I, I still have the time. So yun yung ginagawa ko pala guys. When I go to different places, I always make sure to roam around to make sure na kapag naligaw ako, the places are familiar with me. I'm not really sure if that is helpful for you guys, but it's been working for me, so baka sakali. Also pala guys, I really want to share with you kung ano yung temperature ngayon kaya nag-jacket ako. It's 3 degrees. 3 degrees! <laughs> yeah, but nagugutom na siguro ako kaya hindi ako makapagsilita. But yeah, it's 3 degrees, pero nag-t-shirt na ako sa loob so I can wear my jacket. And guys, what I've noticed with this country, Sobrang late nila gumisay. Naman, it's almost 10 and nobody's outside. Or well, maybe I'm just really used to Filipinos na lagi nila maximize yung mga araw nila kasi masyado silang nag-work. <laughs> so ayun, halika na. Let's head back to the hotel and pack our bags and go to Busan. See you later! And guys, I remember sharing with you na itong neighborhood ko, no, kung nasan yung hotel ko, it's apparently parang Hidalgo sa atin sa Philippines. There's a lot of cameras, actually mga technology stuff that you can actually purchase here na very cheap lang yung price. Wait, nakikita ko yung Namsan Tower here. Oh, sometimes wish I knew. So, yun 
nga guys, naliligaw na tayo So it's better talaga na pumunta kayo Maybe 2 hours before your trip Ang hirap hanapin ng KTX station Nakala ko like sa loob lang siya nung uh, Seoul station But apparently it is not I'm outside bro Okay, hanapin na natin Yang KTX na yan <laughs> Finally guys, nakita na natin yung KTX Oh my god, post to post na ako But yeah, let's go to the picketing now Okay guys, so apparently the one I'm handling is already the ticket So, pumila pa ako ng sobrang haba guys Ito na po na mismo yung ticket, what the heck? Grabe guys, hindi ako na-inform na yung ano pala dito, yung fast food, literal na fast. Kung <laughs> kababayad ko lang, binihin agad sa akin. Ito na po, ready na po. Wow, wala pa. Ah, nakahinito siya, para madali kainin. Wow. Okay, this is clearer guys So ayan, makikita mo yung uh, time dito Tapos ito yung gate number Tapos dito yung uh, train number So wala pa rin yung sa akin 13 kasi ako, 13.10 Ngayon ay 12.13 pa lang Okay guys, so Mag-ikot-ikot muna tayo, libot, libot Gastos, gastos, ganyan <laughs> So, guys, there are mga tao na katutok lang sila dito. Yeah, they take nila yung time. So, gagaya ko. Yeah, nandyan lang sila. Parang, I won't hope, parang nalulod kami na sine. Ganun. Parang ganda ng lighting dito. Oh, may paara. Diba? Pero malamig. So, okay lang. Malay yung bako ng saramdo. Siga man din na ka. Chashing gam ka jigo hair again. Okay guys, so lumabas muna ako kasi ang init sa loob So ako malambigan Sobrang init pag heater pala So ayun, dito ako sa labas Coffee muna tayo, inantok na ako Ano oras na ba? 12.36 pa lang And 1.10 yung trip natin So ayun, coffee muna tayo I feel like gusto nyo itong makita, di ba? May pupu pala dito. Usag natin yung camera. Finally guys, meron na akong gate number. It's gate 8. Hindi nyo siya kita, pero it. I'm going there now. Finally! Okay, let's go. Come 
감정이란 그런 거예요 기적 같은 일이 생겨가요 나 간절히 Okay guys, so I just arrived here in Busan and the experience ng KTX I think is the same lang naman nung sumakay din ako ng bus. It's just that it's faster than that. But the view, I don't know, the feels is just the same. And it's way way cheaper to ride the bus. So I think kung magpupunta ulit ako ng Busan, tapos ang entry ko pa rin Seoul, I'll do the bus na lang kasi it's cheaper. It's way way cheaper. So I could... I don't know, spend na lang the rest of the money sa food and all that. So yeah, I'm very excited kasi um, it's been a while since I last visited Busan and there's a lot of places I really want to visit. So join me, it's going to be a cool ride. So if I were you, I'm gonna subscribe to this channel because it's gonna be fun. Okay, so first agenda, punta muna tayo sa hostel but the original plan ko was to ride the subway, pero dahil marunong na tayong mag bus, yun na lang para mas less talk. Let's go. Grabe guys, Busan hits differently. <laughs> Look at that! And then pag turn here. Right? That's the station. Pero look at this area, you guys. Wow! So good, Like, no words, no words. Okay guys, doon tayo sasakay ng bus. Ito yung station. Guys, sobrang saya talaga ng iPhone. No? Bigla lang, go! Vlog! <laughs> Ito na, kanalating ko lang sa Gokje Market where my hostel is located. And ayan, tatawid lang tayo ng kalsada. And then few walks lang, like one minute away. Nandun na tayo. So let's go, join me! Oh, yeah, guys, I'm going to for the first time here in Busan. Sa Iyunde Beach ako tumira. So this time, dito naman ako sa medyo malapit na sa Busan Station para naman maiba. Kasi parang pwede naman accessible yung beach na yan via bus. But in terms of your, ano ba, point A, Parang mas maganda ko dito malapit na sa station para naman nakagitna siya sa lahat ng tourist spots. So let's go! Clothes. 
over here is a table and I was advised that we are not allowed to eat here. We are just here maybe to work or any computer related work. Yeah, no food is allowed in here. Beside that is another table right there. So if ever you run out of seats, you have another table right there. Right beside the entrance, you have lockers for your shoes. So you are not allowed to bring your shoes inside. You have to leave it there or put it in your locker. Another lounge area if you need to maybe read the book or I don't know, anything really. There's a seat and maybe that's where people hang out. So exciting. That's me. Hi. <laughs> right over here is like a cafe setup. Again, this is for work related stuff. So if you want to do laptop or whatever, this is like your stop. Let me give you a quick spin of what the place looks like as a whole. Wow. Too bad I'm not working in Busan, but if I have to, this is going to be a perfect place. The table, you know, it's really quiet, right? But I wonder how I'm going to do the calls because I have to talk there, not whisper, right? So, um, I guess I'll figure it out. Wow, there are films here. I don't know what's that for. There are books. I believe you can borrow them, right? Provide you with tourist maps as well if you want to roam around Busan. They kind of guide you. That's amazing. There's this quick guide as well if you have to. It's in different language. That is amazing. Wow, this is in Japanese. This is in Korean. Wow, I wonder if there's the catalog. There's no the catalog. We do English. This one. Wow, guys, this is so amazing. I didn't expect this to be this good. I mean, knowing the price that I pay for this, this is more than worth it. Too bad I'm just only staying for like six days. Just a shame. And. So someone came and I was too shy to continue the vlog so I'm now here. Um, I'm planning to eat outside but I'm still waiting for my friend Jason if we're going to meet. But yeah, I think I'll just eat around the area and not really go somewhere else and then I'll sleep early. I'll turn in very early so I have the energy tomorrow to start my day here in Busan. Well, you know. Seoul and Busan have a very different, like, big difference in terms of vibe. I, I, I kind of feel like Busan is a pretty chill, right? To those people in production, you know how amazing a location is if it's really quiet and it's not echoey, right? This place is perfect. The audio is really loud, even if I'm just whispering. So really happy that I'm here yeah welcome to day three and this is what day three looks like and we are going outside yeah we will I am in such a good mood, you guys. Sovereign got a hostel, ang ganda ng locker, I feel safe. And then you bed ko, it's so spacious. And then there's another locker inside my bed, there's a mirror, it's really complete. Sovereign daming sockets, so it's really the best. The air is so quiet. Oh, too bad I'm only staying for six days. I really wanna extend my stay. Para ang sarap mag work from home don. Anyway, nandito ako ngayon sa area na to, para miyong dong. Guys, may ukay. Tingin tayo ng ukay. So, 
so medyo amoy kanal pero maganda kasi kaya okay lang na maamoy kanal hindi ko alam amoy kanal <laughs> amoy kanal guys so ayan kita nyo naman sa paligid ko so parang daming ukay ayan mga ukay ukay pero parang puro pang babae nahilo ako dun <laughs> wait lang okay so dito tayo sa area na to nagugutom na ako so I feel like I have to find a good food first It's so weird. Gabi na pero maliwanag yung langit. Ano to? Maganda yung lighting. Hanggang gabi may palighting kayo, Korea. Munting na po tayo mas sales talk, no? Tumingin lang ako ng sing-sing. 20,000 won eh. So, buti na paisip ako, nagugutom pa ako eh. Kakain muna tayo bago tayo bumili ng mga bagay-bagay. No, oo. Pakain muna po. Okay, so we're done with dinner. It's just 4,500. That's really cheap. Yet so good. It's very delicious. And I feel like it's a very local food that I ate. Oh, so good. And the person selling it is really nice also. She's really good in English. So it wasn't really hard for me to uh, communicate and ask, what is this? What is that? Though I don't really have any allergies that I need to take note of. But it's just really good that you know what you're eating. As to eating a frog or I don't know. <laughs> That's good. I like it. Okay, so now we are looking for a coffee shop where we can edit. Kasi wala pa ako nang pisahan talaga do sa vlogs natin kasi it's really hard to set up everything when I arrive here. Alam mo mga essentials and stuff. Well, you've seen the first video for sure. But yeah, currently it's my third day and eto, talagang feeling ko ito pa lang yung first official travel ko talaga na wala na ako iniisip na mga essential needs to attend to. So, ayun. Wow, puro reserve Starbucks dito. Pero I'm not going to get any Starbucks here because it's something we can get from our place, right? So here we're look... We're la... We're looking for a local coffee shop. And I don't really, you know what's good about this travel though? Um, I really don't have to look for cafes with Wi-Fi because I have my SIM with me, which is an unlimited data. Yeah, if I haven't mentioned that enough, it's amazing. So you should always have a phone na open line. Para naman, it's easier for you to get, you know, local SIM cards from the places you're visiting. So, halika na, hanap na tayong coffee shop. Oh. Sorry, I just really had to stop kasi kaasarap sa mata nun, what the heck? Ano ba yun? Pang may jowa lang yun, so hindi tayo bitter. Na-appreciate natin, and biligyan natin ng time. Ayan, pinaglaunan na, pinaglaunan, launan, launan, launan. Basta, <laughs> hindi tayo bitter. Halika na, maghanap natin ang coffee shop. Oh my God, ang ganda para siyang Hongdae! We don't listen when we talk We fight fire with fire It's like we don't know how to talk Oh guys, this place looks like Hongde, Myeongdong all together and it's really refreshing to see people outside, right? It's going back to normal, you guys. Let me do a spin for you to see everything I'm seeing and it's so amazing. It's so bright, it's colorful, I love it so much. Hold on, right? Yo, are you kidding me? 
that's where I'm going. So we're looking for a cafe. So I'm going to go to store. Tapos I interview ako nung may ari, matanda siya, na lalaki. Tapos um, hindi siya malu mag English, pero medyo na intindi ako kasi na sabi niya. Do may parang pwede ng English. You know what I mean? Hindi pure English, hindi pure Korean. So he's trying to communicate, right? He's asking me, "Aren't you cold?" Sabi niya sa akin, kasi at t-shirt niya ako. Sabi ko, no, it's hot. Sabi ko, it's hot. I feel like, guys, mentally, sobrang prepared ko na sobrang lamig. Pero pagdating ko, it's not as cold. So, as in, pinapawisan ako. Ganong level. Weird. Sobrang weird. Pili ko high blood ako. <laughs> Ngayon, papasok tayo sa isang store na Papasok kang wala kang kailangan pero lalabas kang sasabihin mo sa sarili mo kailangan ko to I need this I deserve this ito yon ito yung place na yon I don't know about you guys, but I really appreciate Koreans trying to communicate even if they are not really fluent with English. I really appreciate how they try to use hand gestures like pointing things for you to understand what they're trying to say. So I kind of pick up on that even if nobody actually taught me how to do it. So I kind of feel like this is really my second home because it's not forced. Like. Thinking about it, it's really difficult, but it doesn't feel like it's a shore when I'm here. So yeah, I just, I'd like to believe that this is like the second home. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is that I'll be working on the vlog already. Um, I edit the audio for a while and then I open the window in front of me and I hope that's okay. Because the heater is on, parang ginagawa lang din yung logic sa atin. Now when the aircon is on, we can't really open the doors. But I think it's a different case here because it's really hot inside. Like the heater is exhausting. <laughs> like I'm sweating all the time. So yeah, I think it's better if it's open. So yeah, let's edit some vlogs here. Um, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, you know what to do. Please do so. There's a lot of contents coming your way regarding South Korea. And what else? If you have questions, right, about itinerary or clarifications with the past episodes or, I don't know, any Korea-related questions is actually open. If you want me to answer them, please let me know on the comments below. So that's it, I think. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!